So what the heck is force majeure? Is a question that I was asked just earlier on today. It's one of those clauses that lurks at the back of most contracts, most sets of T's of C's that you will ever have signed or click to accept on websites and you've probably never read it. Um, there are two flavours of force majeure clauses, the biggie and the litley. The litley basically says we are not responsible for anything outside of our reasonable control that happens to get in the way of us performing the contract. The long one says the same thing but takes a lot more words and lists out things like fire and flood and acts of God and stuff, although it rarely defines which God or gods we're going to be taking into account under our force majeure clause. It's essentially a get out of jail free card. It's a mechanism that allows you or your counterparty to not perform your obligations under the contract and not be liable for any damages or delays that are caused by that. So an example and the reason that it's coming to the top of the pile of quick questions that I'm getting at the moment is lots of companies are trying to rely on force majeure clauses to avoid being in breach of contract when they've been delayed in delivering stuff because of COVID-19. So if your staff are not able to physically be in the office, you can't do the physical jobs that you need to do in the office that require you to be there. So force majeure can be a means for delaying your obligation to deliver whatever it is and for stopping you from being liable for any damages that your counterparty might suffer as a result of that. If you've got one that you need looking at, by all means, give the Devant team a shout. If you're in a circle member, it's a perfect thing to talk to your inner circle consultant about. If you've got a specific force majeure question or any other contract related question, frankly, just drop a note in the comments below or email me through the website and I'll do my best to answer. But in the meantime, if you're trying to rely on it, read it carefully, make sure that you follow any processes that might be set out in the force majeure clause of your contract and don't overstep the mark. If it allows you to delay performance, but not to cancel, for example, don't go too far. You want to make sure you get the absolute best out of whatever provisions there are in your contracts and don't use them to shoot yourself in the foot. Hope that's helpful and look forward to speaking to you again soon.